Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to the next part of the Art Addicts Alliance pieces and for this month's theme it's Nightmares. Um, sorry the start of the video is a little bit blurry, I was trying out my webcam to see if I could record using that but the quality is just too bad. So yeah, I'm not going to bother doing that anymore, I'll just stick to leaving that for live streams. But I really struggled coming up with a concept for this theme originally. And I, I don't know why, but I just couldn't get any ideas in my head. And I ended up just talking it through with my sister. And she was like, oh, why don't you just do one of your horn girls then? So I was like, yeah. And then as soon as that was it, that then the ideas started to roll in as soon as it had a base sort of theme. That was like a sub theme for Nightmares. And... When I was drawing it out, I decided I really wanted to go for like a negative image sort of thing. So I wanted the character to be really pale and like the eyes especially, I wanted them to be reversed so the whites of the eyes would be black and then either white for the pupil or a colour or something like that. But I wanted to kind of hint at different fears that people have but not in a cliche sort of way so I thought I'd go with like the long nails because that's a creepy thing it tends to be associated with creepy female characters as they have like the long pointy nails or um, the cobweb tiara just because the fear of spiders but it wasn't until I'd refined my sketch a little bit more that I decided to add the hands bursting out of the chest and I'm glad I did because it kind of ties everything in together and it works it gives another bit of interest on that area as well um, but apparently I'm not the only one that struggled this month coming up with a concept so that's kind of a relief to hear but I'm glad I kind of pushed myself I mean, I went with the safe zone going for the horn girl, but I feel like I pushed myself with this piece because I tried to get more detail in, in little areas, like with the jewellery on her hand, because I don't normally draw jewellery, but I did have to repaint the background twice, because the first time, which you can see now, I was using my pearlescent De La Rowney ink, and it looked so nice when it went on but when it dried it was really patchy and horrible because it's if you haven't used it before it's quite a really thick ink and it needs to be watered down but because I wanted it to be as solid black as I could but just have that shimmer I didn't want to water it down too much and I ended up having to go over it with my Winsor & Newton ink kind of mixed in with a little bit of the pearlescent and watered down just to take some of that extra shine off so it didn't look as patchy and that turned out a lot better but I'm actually doing this piece on my uh, what's it called um, aha, there it is the De La Rowney mixed media paper uh, because I couldn't decide for ages on what medium I wanted to use so I was like oh, I'll just use a range of different ones then so this one has got ink, pencil crayon, watercolour markers um, and the only thing it's missing is paint, like acrylic paint but I'm kind of glad that I did I did forget about the uh, nightmare of using markers on this paper because it just soaks up all of the ink and that a lot of my markers are on the way out already as it is but I made it work so it's all good I wanted to give her quite a grey tone for the skin and then just a little bit of a flesh tint just to liven her up a bit just to run with like the creepy a ghostly sort of look but yeah um, I, I kind of just feel like I'm rambling now about the art so I'll leave talking about that for a bit and go on to the competition this month I'm actually giving away this piece to one of you guys so if you want to have a chance to win this original piece then I want you to comment down below your worst nightmare because I can't think of any other thing for you to, to do for this so I thought that would be quite interesting to see what other people's are or if you don't want to put your worst nightmare then like your worst fear or something like that 
and I'm not really going to judge based on whose nightmare is the worst, it'll just be picking at random, but it's something to comment about instead of just saying, hi, pick me, <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah, I'll run the competition until, um, I think Claire did hers running for the whole month, but, ah, oh, yeah, we'll leave it, um, so the competition will end on the date of the next alliance piece, which I will have to double check when that is. I can give a rough guess if it wants to load. Um, let's say the 4th of August. Yeah. So the, con the contest will run till the 4th of August and then we'll see who wins. But, um, I guess I'm I'm just at a loss for words at the minute so there's all the usual information like the links to the Facebook page is down below and don't forget to vote for our next theme and the link to that poll will also be in the description box below um, but yeah I think um, the raffle has finished as pretty much everyone should know by now and I, th I think everyone's got their prizes now so I hope you all like your prizes that you got. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of rambling and my voice is going, so I'll leave it at that for today. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to check out everyone else's videos. Who I'll link theirs in the description box below as well. But yeah, anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye!
somebody.